guys just keep pushing and pushing. They don't like to stay defending. All right, well, there you have it. We are going to be playing on Siege of Shanghai, which is going to be a fairly interesting matchup here. We do have a three-flag map. Uh, I like three-flag maps. It's going to be fairly linear. We do have kind of like Lankang Dam, as uh, both of the spawns are going to be sitting right across from each other. A uh, bit, bit, bit weird, I won't lie. But uh, we are going to be having, I believe it's one tank per team. Um... Yeah, you have one main battle tank and one scout helicopter, and that that it's going to prove very important here in, in the scout helicopter. I mean, because the spawns cannot be protected by the anti air, so every team will be trying to spawn rape the other. Yeah, absolutely, and that's one of the things that is really going to be playing into effect here on that Bravo flag will be the uh, the air fight because if that B flag stays up. Uh, that is going to be a very hard position to retake because you do have to go up into... Where's that tower right here? Here is the tower. So you do have to use the elevators. There are three different elevators. If you guys didn't know, we have one over here onto the top. We have one on the back side. And then one over here as well on... Uh, I don't know. It's the front. So we'll, we'll just go with front. North side. There we go. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so you have three interests up here onto Bravo Flag. Very hard to retake once you lose it. And uh, especially if you don't have control of the air. So those scout helicopters are really going to be proving their worth. And uh, who's actually flying here uh, for, I think, Kuba. I think it's Captain Kuba flying for uh, Entropy. And then who's flying over here for uh, Panic Reaction? Uh, it will be Guy. It's actually Guilherme, but his nickname actually is Guy for the win. Okay, I see him right here. Okay, so definitely be looking out for both of these players to be clashing, as uh, they will definitely be going at each other. We will also be seeing some uh, stingers being used, as uh, the normal tactic on this particular map right here will be basically um, two stingers on each side of the uh, the scout helichop helichopper. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Uh, the scout helicopter, and it's uh, who can get the most amount of stingers off first. Uh, we'll be seeing some, uh, obviously, some repair tool action going on. We did have a buff to the choppers, though, on their miniguns, so we might be seeing some minigun action as uh, I believe the cannons uh, had... No, they're, I think they were actually buffed, too. Anyways, we'll, we'll go off. I'm not a chopper, guys. I, I'm not a chopper guy. I, I just, I'm sorry. I'm empty all the way. I uh, used to be a well, vehicle the, guy, but uh, I, yeah, am, I am a combo. The miniguns got buffed. And you're, go and you're going to see that they become very strong on the air, so we might get to see much more of the miniguns than the stingers this time. Well, awesome stuff there. So uh, I, I think we're still going to be seeing a lot of stinger action happening. Um, it just depends on uh, you know who else wins that battle. Uh, if Bravo Flag gets taken, expect to be trying to see that uh, that, that building coming down, as uh, they are going to be in the. Uh, uh, the pillars right here if you can uh, set c4 rpg or shoot them with the tank i don't know maybe if you bang your head across them hard enough it will be able to break them down but you got to take out those four pillars and it will basically make the evolution event happen bring down that tower we will be seeing bravo flag in a heaping pile of dust and smoke and uh rubble on the ground it's going to make it a lot easier for more infantry centric teams uh, to take control of that as uh, really infantry are going to be the only ones to get up on it. If that does fall down, we do have an attack boat, I believe, that will spawn there. So that could come into play as well, patrolling those seas. We also are possibly going to be seeing some back raging happen as uh, we do have jet skis, I think, spawn somewhere over here. We may not have them spawn on the small version, but uh, there's a possibility of some uh, back rages happening. Uh, from both sides here as uh, they just be able to swim across the, across the water. Uh, if they do get control of Bravo Flag, this is one of the things that's so annoying when you're on the Chinese side, and you may agree with me here, uh, Tara, but uh, if they, they get the Bravo Flag, and this is the U.S. team, they can parachute down on top of uh, Charlie Flag here and uh, basically be able to harass it the entire time. Whereas if you're on the Chinese team and you have control of Bravo Flag, it's not as easy to harass A because it is underground. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Both teams can harass each other, but I believe the Chinese team has some disadvantage because 
Delta, uh, I mean, Charlie is so down there, while Alpha is like covered by some buildings and you have some elevators who go up, yeah, I mean, it's easier. And another thing that makes the Bravo flag so strong is that it has one of the peculiarities of this map. It has the HVMII, I believe it's the name. It's that four missile lock on stinger mm, yes. weapon that yes, is the right. pickable weapon. It's been used a lot lately. And and uh, that spawns up here on uh, Bravo flag somewhere. Yeah, on the know, US side, I believe. Yeah, yeah on, well, here it is. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I love this. Havoc's over here. He's like, here it is. Like, I can see him where he's at. It's, it's over here, Brett. Come here. Come on. I'm pointing at it right on my screen. Why don't you <laughs> see it? <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, we are just waiting for the last player for uh, Entropy to jump on in. We do have uh, Diabetes from Clerks. That's always nice to see. As I, I, don't, I don't know if anybody else from Clerks is actually up and active. Fortunately, they didn't really last very long in Battlefield 4. As, uh, yeah, just had some bad stuff happen there. But uh, anyways, uh, we are going to be seeing... Uh, do, do we have side choices yet? Do we know who is playing what side? Oh, actually, I don't know. I don't believe they have picked. They're picking right now, yeah. All right, well, I'm going to help them further it along by annoying them completely uh, with my, uh, with my chat, and it looks like, uh, Entropy will be taking the Chinese side first, so, in my opinion, they'll be having the harder side right off the get-go. No! As we're having some indecision here, Diabetes, he's like, wait a minute, guys, we're going U.S. instead. <laughs> gonna be throwing a wrench in the, uh, the cogs right there, as they are gonna be charting on the U.S. side. So now, we are gonna be seeing them, in my opinion, on the easier side as uh, Panic Reaction will be taking the Chinese side first round. Um, what what are we going to be seeing here on the breakouts, Havoc? Well, usually you get the two scout helicopters to face each other on the top of Bravo building, and there's some massive parachuting, some massive infantry coming up from the elevators, and the tanks will be taking the first flag and play more defensively. I think that's going to happen now. Alrighty. So definitely looking forward to this match. Should be a good one. The air battle really going to be key uh, within the, the game. I, I'm not really sure how uh, the tank placement is actually going to be coming into effect. I would imagine the tank will be playing mostly passive. Uh, if they do get a control of Bravo, he will be pushing back up. I would uh, I would say towards uh, that uh, B flag going to be cutting off this area of attack right here as you can kind of just uh, sit next to this building and uh, cut off that lane. Uh, we might be seeing some swimming across right here, but uh, infantry can really just take care of that as well as your helicopter as it will be flying around. And uh, the helicopters do spawn back in the backfield over here. So if there is spawn raping going on, it will take the helicopter just about completely out of action. Uh, so uh, definitely look for probably timers on those pilots. So uh, yeah, anyways, we should be getting going as uh, all players are now in the server. So let's uh, go ahead and change it over here on to the actual casting page. Well, bam! Look at that! Oh my god, it looks so pretty. My face isn't on screen anymore. I guess you guys are happy now. So, uh, anyways, we do appreciate you coming out and watching. Once again, this is War Excess Season 3, match number one of the season. So awesome stuff there. Preseason was a great round. We saw uh, Mercenarios taking out Wolf Team fairly convincingly, but still a very good match. If you guys want to go check that out, you can do so on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash one And uh, if you guys want to check out some 5v5 action from my Go4 uh, cast, you can do that as well as I do cast ESL every Sunday at 9 a.m. Eastern. Oh my god, that's right, 9 a.m. Eastern. I know it's early, guys, but uh, I love Battlefield, and you know what? I'm there for it. I'm there for it. Should be going live on this restart. I also cast War Excess, obviously, as what you're seeing here, every Thursday night, guys, at 10.30 p.m. Eastern. If you guys want to check this out, hit that follow button down below. Also, follow me on Twitter, at BrettFX, as I will be letting you guys know every single time that I go live in a cast. And uh, anyways, uh, Havoc, where can we find you at on Twitter? Because, uh, I don't know, are, are you going to be uh, uh, pimping out the War Excess? Do you have a personal Twitter of your own that you want to uh, check out? Uh, personal not, but we have the War Excess Twitter, which is War Excess League, just like that. And you can also find us on Facebook by finding also War Excess League. 
And then you, we have uh, our website, which is workaccess.com. All right, there you go. Definitely go check out their website. Get active on their forums. Uh, we definitely appreciate all of the feedback that we can absolutely get. Make sure it's not trolling and that it actually helps out the game because we are here for you guys. We are the only league right now, War Excess, uh, that is going to be doing 10v10. So no other league does it. Uh, Euros that have stuck with 8v8s with the Nordic League, which is fine, you know, it's it's nothing uh, uh, nothing wrong with that, but I uh, definitely think that 10v10 is going to be a lot more excited. And we have a little bit of news here as Commander Mode is now fixed. So Havoc, are we going to be seeing Commander Mode for Season 4? Definitely, Brad. Definitely. Yeah. I'm excited for that, as uh, we have seen Commander Mode played in the 32v32s last Saturday for Level BF. It played out fairly interesting, I won't lie, as uh, we had some epic cruise missile action on this very map. In fact, we saw some cruise missile uh, happening over on the Bravo flag with, I think, a 9 kill feed. So pretty sweet action there. And uh, also going to be able to help out your teams quite a bit. Now, Havoc, is it going to be a 10 plus 1 commander, or is it going to be 9 players in the server and your commander? We haven't decided yet, but we don't want to lose people on the battlefield, so yeah. it might go down to 10 plus 1, but we haven't decided. Haven't decided yet. I like that answer. It works for me. Let's check out who we got. We have uh, Entropy on the blue side or US side. Let's go ahead and swap that around. Bam, look at that. It looks so beautiful when things work. I will definitely say that. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the uh, the chat because you guys don't want to see if anybody gets mad in chat. You don't want to see that. No, no, you guys obviously don't like drama. I mean, this is Battlefield. Nobody likes drama. So here we go, live. Havoc, we do see a very fast chopper going straight over here to Bravo, which is not going to be anything uh, surprising as uh, both of them are going to be making their way up towards the top. Now, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see who comes out here as we do have stingers once again for both choppers. Height advantage going over here to, uh, I believe this is uh, Entropy, as we will be seeing a massive drop on the Bravo. Not going for a drop themselves, uh, Entropy. Going to be able to take out that chopper, so they do have air dominance right from the get-go. But Panic Reaction, going to be able to take that B-Flag. Havoc, how do you think this is going to play out? Do you think that was a smart move for Entropy not going for those drops? I'm actually quite surprised. I don't think it was a, a, a good move, even if they have killed the scout helicopter. Now they have to fight for Bravo and go aggressive on Panic Reaction on first flag. Yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Although he's doing a really good job. We do have another push coming up uh, onto that Bravo roof side. And oh my god, let's see. Let's see some epic RPG action. Please get this chopper with the RPG. B flag going to be getting flashed down. It is now going to be great. As a panic reaction, going to be losing out. And just look at that kill feed right there. As a nice pickup there as Kuda able to pick up one in the air. And now Panic Reaction will be losing that Bravo flag 280 to 293. Guys, remember, we are going to be going by rounds, not by tickets on this map. So as long as they win, doesn't really matter what the ticket count is. We'll be going on to a second round. No tree going to be able to pick up one uh, as he sees him down the hall. Look at that, Peter. With a three-man kill streak. Got, got down with the small. Nice job Bad. there. And now we're going to be seeing uh, Gooey for the win back up in his chopper. Let's check out over here. We do see Stingers coming out for Entropy. As it looks like they are going to be able to take out this helicopter. Just look at that a spam coming down on him. He's actually disabled there for just a few moments. And he's got to get out of there now as I don't really see him surviving too awful long. Let's take a look over here with Peter, as still Bravo Flag not getting capped out. And uh, a lot of a lot of infantry at play on this Bravo Flag. Now, something that I would like to see here, and we are going to be seeing... Oh, yes, Chumbo. Yes, Chumbo. He was reading my mind. Look at this. Chumbo possibly going to go over here for Alpha Flag. We do have the tank sitting back. That's going to be Sun Dex just waiting on B. But you know what? Chumbo going to be able to cause a lot of issues there. Possibly going to be pulling back some infantry of his own. And Bravo Flag is now going to be getting grayed out. So, Havoc, what do you think of this play right here, man? I actually don't know him very well. I'm, I'm quite surprised. Uh, let's see what uh, happens now. 
Oh, <laughs> Chumbo gets taken out. I would have liked to see maybe a spawn beacon been in place, but no, spawn beacons are illegal. Brett, what are you saying? Don't say such things as a two-man piece coming up here for blind. Nice job there. We'll be able to clear out the elevators, and Bravo Flag will be going into their possession. 262, 273, and we do have a very uh, heavy push, I would say, from the tanks coming up here for Panic Reaction. Now, do you like this play being very aggressive? I don't know. I think that the tank should play more passive onto the actual B building. It's getting a little dangerous here. Yeah, it's it's too much aggressive, and the other tank is still alive. If the other tank were dead, I think this could be actually a good move, but, but it's still alive. It's super risky. Yeah, and we do have a potential back rage here for Merc. Look at this. He's going to have to swim all the way across, try and get up on the Charlie. We don't have any... Uh, spawn beacons, we don't have any anything really up there to try and uh, check that out. But here we go, up on top of the buildings, we have uh, Diago. Oh, Diago. This guy, I love watching this guy play. He is a great player. We'll be getting onto that Bravo or Alpha cap here in just a second. Crushes down that glass, and uh, he's going to drop down here to find a tank waiting for him here in just a second, I believe. As uh, No, he's going to be able to get onto that burn quite easily, actually. Uh, it is going to be going back down into the favor of uh, uh, Entropy here. But uh, we do see a look at this scattered about the map. So, uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Did we just see a chopper still here? We did. <laughs> As we do have uh, Panic Reaction now taking both of the helicopters and, and Havoc. What do you do when you have no air? <laughs> Well, it's, it's very difficult. You have to commit to take down these choppers and stop worrying about the flags. The problem is that they're already having problems in their very first flag. So I don't know how Entropy is going to come out of this. Uh, they, they are not going to be happy here as uh, we do have Sundance now going to be back up onto Alpha Flag. He's going to be trying to hold on here. We do have Charlie now going to be getting uh, slightly grayed out. Let's check out over here onto Diago. I think that they have uh, definitely done a great job of... Uh, uh, basically tying them up. We do have Kuda though. Uh, Kuba! Oh my gosh. Tongue tied here guys. Sorry about that. As he's going to be able to pick up both of those kills. Nice job there. But look at the massive spawn bomb coming over here onto Charlie. Shots is going to be coming around the corner. Spots out one in shop. We'll be able to take him down. That's no tree as uh, will not be able to survive. Sees another one. Will be getting taken down himself. And there's just a massive spawn bomb here onto Alpha Flag. So uh, this is actually uh, working out here for Entropy as uh, they're making their way back in. 183, 253. By no means are they out of this match here, guys. They have plenty of tickets to come back here. I like how Panic Reaction started to attack on this Charlie flag to retrieve it, but I think they're a, bit, a little bit more scattered now. I'm not sure if they're going to get it anytime soon. Yeah, they are a little bit more scattered, but uh, once again, guys, we are going to be based on tickets, not or on rounds, not tickets, so it honestly doesn't really matter a whole lot that they are uh, starting to get that bleed back into Entropy's favor uh, as they have plenty of time to come back here. Now, Diabese is going to be back up with his uh, RPG here, just looking for uh, that, uh, that truck there as Chumbo is going to be tearing it up. Finally gets taken out. Uh, we do have uh, Fanato up top on the bridge, going to be able to spot out Notri, takes him down, no problem, and now Alpha Flag looks like it's going to still, uh, or Charlie Flag, going to be going into the favor of Entropy here, but uh, just a lot of spawn bombs coming in. Good hold over there onto that Alpha Flag. That's why I was saying Havoc as to why Alpha was so strong, because it, it's underground. Obviously, we're seeing the tank just camp on it, which haven't really seen that too much, um, to be honest with you. But, uh, you know, th that that's definitely a sound strat right there. Yeah, what I don't see here is that Entropy is like, okay, we have Charlie, we're okay, and we're not doing anything else. I think they should have pushed for Bravo. You now that Panic Reaction is focusing on Charlie. I think they missed that opportunity. Yeah, they may have. No tree going to be poking back out. He's going to be able to spot out one. Not get the kill, though. They do know the tank is going to be pushing around, and no tree goes down by the tank. Nice pickup there as he's going to be able to get some splash damage down there. That was uh, Dwayne. Spots out another one. Going to be able to take him out, and now Charlie Flag going firmly into the possession here of Panic Reaction as well as the bleed. 160 to 222. What exactly can we see from uh, Entropy here to come back from this? Because they are, like I said, in my opinion, on the easier side here, and they're losing. This is not too good. 
I think they are forgetting about the importance of Bravo Flag. I think that when they lost the Scout Delicato, they kind of give up on, on it. And that's a problem. And that was the last player there onto that Charlie flag getting taken down. We do have Merp back up. He's going to be going for the safe elevators here as he will be going back up top onto the roofs. He's going to be doing a little bit of a double fake as uh, I like that move. He's going to be hitting both of the elevators so that you can't really tell which is which. And we're going to be staying on Merc here as a massive spawn bomb is now going to be on him. And uh, he's going to be trying to get back around. Burn going to be going heavily into their favor. I don't think we have anybody actually. Uh, oh, we do have uh, at least Peter back here going to try and hold on to this flag. Going to be spotting that one. Goes down. That's going to be Diabetes there with the pickup. And let's check out Diabetes as uh, he's going to be coming around the corner with that. Uh, oh, get this RPG. Get that RPG. No, he will not. Does not end up picking that up. Harp also going 10 and 9. 10 and 4 Kuba as uh, he's also going to be beasting up. B flag gets grayed out here. And, uh, yeah, so looking pretty good here for Entropy as they're trying to get back up onto this flag. But Gooey with that helicopter, you know, I, I just don't, I, I don't know. I, with not having any air at all, Havoc, I think that this might be impossible for them to win this round. What do you think? Yeah, actually, they're keeping the scout helicopter of Entropy very aggressively, so they, they might take it out sometime. But what I see here is that in the Alpha flag, they're keeping like three infantry, so they're not using all their their attack. Uh, how do you say it? the attack power? Yeah. And they need to use it now. They're they're on the red side of the game now. Yeah, I kind of agree with you there. They, they might be a little bit of afraid there of uh, a back rage that we saw from Chumbo. And look at that, we do have a push coming in here on the elevators to try and clean this up. It's gonna be some C4 action and we'll be able to get the double C4s from Chumbo. Nice job there. We also have shots getting C4 as well. So there's just C4 action happening everywhere. Afac, was that the tank that died? It was, the tank goes down. And now Alpha Flag is going to be exposed heavily. And this just might be the nail in the coffin. Boom! There goes Gooey! Now we're going to be seeing the helicopter getting back up here for Kuba. But honestly, Havoc, do they have enough time to come back? Well, I don't think so. Um, now that they lost the tank, they have to wait one minute or a half to get it back. So they're pretty much on foot. They have to use that truck, which is now disabled. So they're on foot against uh, two, no, sorry, one helicopter, one tank. And everyone in Bravo, I don't know. I think it's still too hard, even with the scout helicopter. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's going to be difficult. 49 tickets to 207. We might just need to go to a round number two and have them have a restart. As uh, that was that was brutal. That was brutal. We have two more players going to be sw swimming back over here to Charlie, trying to go for another uh, back cap of their own. We do have uh, B Dub trying to make up uh, make up some uh, lost ticket counts is going to be able to pick up Jumbo. Teammate's going to be able to clean up the second player. We do have a back rage coming in here for shots. It's going to be him against the world practically. Uh, Entropy going to be spawning in mass over here onto that alpha flag. 27 tickets left to go with uh, just a few minutes left on that clock. The spawn bomb coming in here on the Charlie, but really there's not going to be a whole lot back there. Uh, Sir Knight going to be able to spot out one. His buddy though taking him down and now shots will be getting taken out as well. So uh, yeah, just, just really good play coming in here for Panic Reaction as, uh, I mean, I, I would say that, that we would be seeing a different game had the chopper not been stolen. Wait, did they just stole the chopper again? Yeah, they did. Well, I don't. I, honestly, at this point right now, I don't think it really matters as uh, they have 12 tickets left. And if they were to come back from a 12 ticket uh, loss, that would be quite impressive. We are not going to be seeing such things as uh, Diabetes is going to try and get some uh, shots in. Just last minute shots. He's going to try and improve his KD just a little bit. You know, can't let Harp and uh, Kuba have all of the... Uh, the attention as he does end up going down. Sir Knight will be back up and uh, eight tickets left to go. That is going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations. First round will be going over here towards the uh, panic reaction as uh, honestly, that was just a beautiful round played by them. Uh, I think that the best player for prior reaction actually was uh, Dwayne. He went into a, a kill streak and never died. He was the most important player, I think. Yeah, but look and at that, well. 25 and 7 from Diago. Yeah. I mean, come on, you got to give props to this man. As, uh, you know, yeah, he was able he was able to do a lot of damage, 
and uh, he was always up in their face. But let's not forget about the uh, the chopper steal, which I'm not exactly sure who got the steal, but I know that Gooey was flying it for quite some time. Uh, so uh, very, very good stuff on their part. I mean, that chopper steal was just brutal. But 25-7 uh, going over here to Diago. Chumbo, 14 and 13 shots, 15 and 12. So nice job. And, of course, the Wayne, 17 and 0. I believe he was in the tank. Am I, am I not? Yeah, he was in the yeah, tank. Yeah, he was in the tank. We do have... Uh, was Kuga. that the Diogo engineer or something? Uh, he was he was playing pr fairly aggressively. I know that he pushed down onto uh, Alpha a couple of times. He was able to get uh, the burn going back into their favor. Uh, I know that he got uh, a couple of shots in on that tank that was down there on the A as well. Uh, so he, he was pushing up fairly aggressively. It wasn't like he was... Uh, you know, sitting back and just uh, camping those shots with that sniper rifle. He wasn't trying to improve his KD and his uh, EP. And so uh, we are going to be seeing a, uh, a switch rounds. Everybody in the server. Everybody is in the server. Look at that. That's a beautiful sight right there, man. It's a beautiful sight. So anyways, guys, do appreciate you coming out and watching. This is War Excess 10v10. If you missed that first round, you should be able to take uh, or watch it again on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash vh one If you like what you're seeing so far, hit that follow button down below. Remember to tweet it out and share it on Facebook. Helps out a lot. And here we go. We are going to be live. Havoc, you think we're going to be seeing a same breakout once again? Just pushing straight up onto that uh, Bravo flag. Yeah, they will be pushing, but I really hope that this time NT parachutes some people over there. I think they are going to that this time. All right, well, we are going to be seeing those choppers getting back up. And uh, to be completely honest with you, uh, okay, yeah, so Entropy, learning their lesson, will be getting a spawn bomb onto that Bravo flag. And infantry fighting happening right from the get-go. It's going to be a one-on-two. The last player left. Who is this? This is actually going to be No Tree, as he's going to be staying alive, keeping the dream alive for his teammates. Don't poke out. No Tree goes down. And that is a huge loss right there, Havoc. That was a huge, huge loss. They have already taken B, which is huge. I mean, they usually take uh, much more time to take B. But at least they are got to still alive. Yeah, well, not only that, but I mean, honestly, no tree with a, a, a poor move, in my opinion, uh, should have stayed alive and uh, try and get some spawns off on him. Unfortunately, he did not. We will be seeing uh, Kilo back up on uh, Entropy side. He's going to be trying to get that burn back into the favor. Spots out that uh, evil helicopter going to be trying to take that down. We do see Entropy, though. Uh, starting to get back that Bravo point, so it's looking fairly decent for him. We have uh, infantry going down a little bit of everywhere. Uh, we do have the elevators, though, populated, and let's see what's going to be happening out of here. Here's one player, only one player, is going to be up, and he gets taken down. That was going to be Chumbo. And uh, I think we had some uh, C4 suicide action going on. Not too sure there. Uh, Knight's going to be able to spot out one that was uh, pushing up across the bridge. It's going to be him and... So he's going to try and make something happen there. Gooey, though, back up in his chopper. He's going to be able to do donuts. Making me sick. Has to back back up. And Vixter going to be back up on the Bravo flag. Still not able to get a solid cap on this B point as it's going down once again. But look at that. Vixter will be able to pick up one in mid on top of Bravo flag. And Havoc, uh, when you're in this position right now, you know, I, I mean, you're entropy. Okay? You're already down tickets. You do have control of Bravo flag, but, uh, I mean... It looks like it looks like they just can't really get a solid hold on it. Are you feeling a little nervous, especially after a almost 200 ticket deficit in that first round? Well, I, I will be feeling yeah, nervous, yes, and I think they are not uh, actually playing well as a team. I mean, what there was just a sequence here that maybe we uh, we didn't get to see clearly, but. When the scuttle chopper, the, uh, sorry, the scuttle cover from the enemy was coming, the infantry started to just blast the stingers on him, so he had to hide. And when he hid, the other scuttle cover came and helped. I mean, that kind of coordination is not is what panic reaction is doing to keep the bravo flag, and NT needs that. Now. Yeah, and it looks like entropy. Uh, they did their chopper did end up going down, but the, they're a little bit nervous here. As uh, we saw Harp taking a little bit of friendly fire, so it looks like they're just uh, kind of on edge here. It looks like Bravo Flag will be going into their favor right now. Diago, though, uh, going to be able to take out one and two. He's going to be on a double killing streak. Can he make it three? There's going to be one more player here from Entropy and checks out the spawns. We'll be able to make it three. And he's looking for that fourth one right now. Uh, he spots him out laying down on the ground. We do see the flags going into their favor. 
doesn't matter because Peter's going to be able to clean that up. And that was a beautiful retake there. Uh, from I think uh, Peter is going for the scout copter steal again. Oh, are we? Are we going to be able to get that steal? As uh, yeah, we are. And look at that gooey. Gonna be just waiting for him. That 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 right there is is painful. And that's what I was talking about before. That's how <laughs> critical that helicopter is. That chopper fight from the uh, from the start. You have to win that battle, and you have to keep the the opponent's uh, chopper down the entire time because air is just so critical. I would kind of like to see maybe the tanks going for. Ooh, nice nade there. Going to be able to pick up Hart. Pulls out that uh, pistol from the side. Sees one jumping down. We might be seeing a possible back rage coming in here onto that alpha flag. But I would kind of like to see um, Entropy going for uh, going for that, uh, that uh, uh, Bravo flag to try and bring it down. And look at this. He's going to be able to pick up one from behind. He spots out three of them. Bigsta goes down. Shot, though. Can he make it uh, any more? Teammate's going to be able to take down at least two. So they know that this push is going to be back behind them. It's going to be No Tree, the last one left back up. Let's see if this guy can do anything at all. I do know No Tree is a really good player. But uh, we'll see if he's going to be able to uh, hold onto this flag. It will be going into their favor. Nobody yet go coming down here onto Alpha. We do see Dwayne uh, parking his tank up top. I like this play here from Panic Reaction <clears throat> over here onto uh, the Alpha flag with their tank. As opposed to pushing it down, it gives him a little bit more freedom of mobility. Allows him to uh, uh, basically move in and out if he needs to. He's not really locked into any position. He can help out on Bravo. He can help out on a back rage. So we do see Bigster oh. right now holding it down up on top of Bravo flag. We do see him uh, able to pick up one. Possibly. Nope. Gets the uh, assist there. And now we've seen a possible trip cap coming in here for Entropy. So they're starting to turn it around here, have it? Yeah, pretty good move, even if they got the, the scouting cover of Stolen. I think the panic reaction should, was just focusing on defending Bravo. And Dwayne actually was doing very nicely when the, the enemy scout cutter died. He moved forward and protected the elevators from Bravo. But the back race you saw with the guys swimming to Alpha actually worked out very well. And I, what I'd like to see now is Entropy using their tank more. It's just sitting there in Charlie doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah, it would be interesting if they did make a mad dash push over here onto that alpha fly. They do have some infantry that's going to be back up, and some. Uh, we do have some parachuters going to be coming in. Uh, but, uh, you know, if they had pushed that, uh, that tank up, be a little bit more aggressive, try and take out the tank of panic reaction, maybe that'll alleviate, alleviate uh, quite a bit of that pressure. But uh, we are seeing them holding strong here. Onto Alpha, we've seen some flares being used, as uh, those are a little bit annoying even for the spectator. Bigster will be back up. He's going to be just chilling out, just chillaxing just a little bit. And it looks like the helicopter going down here for Panic Reaction. So uh, nice job here as we're seeing uh, Entropy starting to make their way back in. 168-206, they have the lead. So this is looking pretty good. We're seeing them go for a double gimme as opposed to going for any kind of a straight-up two-flag push. Yeah, I think that they actually can win this round. I mean, they have to keep it up and they have to keep adapting to the strategies Panic Reaction has been preparing. I mean, the strategy from PR are actually quite good, but you can see them. You can know it's a strategy, it's something planned, and if it's something planned, it's something predictable. So they have to keep reading their enemy like they're doing now. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so right now we do see the chopper that's going to be up here for Panic reaction just going to be causing a lot of issues over here on the Charlie flag. Chumbo going to be making his way back in onto this Charlie flag. And, uh, yeah, I, I like this uh, I like this play here from Entropy right now, going for these double gimmies. They know they're not going to be able to win the air. So they're like, okay, we'll just uh, we'll mass our infantry on uh, both of the flags that we know we can take. And uh, that's what they're sticking with right now. Uh, Chumbo is going to be making his way onto this Charlie flag. Looks like it is going to be going down. Uh, but we do have quite a bit of uh, entropy going to be up top. Now, I really don't like the roof play that's going to be coming in. But, uh, ooh, nice pickup there for Sir Knight. He will be able to take out Chumbo with that uh, that small. Now the last one le left back up It's going to be uh, Fanico. And Diago going to be back up on top of the roofs. Probably going to be waiting for some massive spawns going to be coming in. Kuba, though, can he clear this out? Going to be going up into the elevator. You know, they, they're looking pretty solid right now. I think they might have just found 
the weakness on PR strategy, which is their very same strength. They have just too much air. Okay, let's do what air c cannot kill. Exactly. Absolutely, completely agree with you 100%. It looks like that's exactly what we're seeing here. Dida Beast goes down, not going to be able to make the Scar H work for him just quite yet. Now Kilo going to be back up over here onto that Charlie Flag. Gets taken down as well. And uh, we just having him getting locked down all over the place. Chumbo now goes down by uh, beat up. Let's take a look over here at the KDs. Diago 18 and 6. This man is a beast as he uh, made a uh, 25 kills in the first round. So he's going to try and beat that as he's going to looking for any kind of uh, prey. Not going to be finding anything. Does look like Alpha Flag, though, going to be getting contested by him. And, and now we're going to be seeing a, uh, a contesting of a triple cap. Nope, that goes down from Panic Reaction. But uh, it seems like they're going to be stabilizing here with that CB. But it's on the other side of the map. So, Havoc, what exactly can Panic Reaction do here to try and stabilize this? It, I mean, is this really wise going for the other team's gimme flag like this? Mm, I'm not sure if now. But, uh, yeah, they needed it. But now they're going to have just too much people on Alpha. But this is also a good thing, because now the Entropy team it will be split in two. There's no way they can help each other now. So I think, yeah, it was a good move. Yeah, we've seen one of the helicopters getting very low on health here. But uh, that tank goes down very, very quickly, as Gooey will be able to take him down. And it looks like he will be losing that little bird, unfortunately. But that's okay, because he started on the U.S. side anyways. And now uh, b is going to be trying to uh, get that cap back. And we do see a trip cap in favor of Entropy here. Looks like Alpha they was going to do something coming. right now. Well, it does look like they're doing that right now. Entropy going to be making a comeback here. Uh, panic Reaction going to be on the back foot. But uh, I think that if Dio can stay alive here and get some spawn bombs going on, he should be okay. Something that we haven't really seen too much from this Panic Reaction team is uh, actually some suicide uh, spawns coming in. I would like to see a little bit more um, suicides from Alpha Flag getting onto that Bravo Flag to help cap that out as quick as possible. But uh, look at this, Bigster and Harp gonna be playing very, very smart, just waiting in those shops. Gonna try and uh, get that tank to pass by before they make a push onto that Alpha Flag. Diabetes is going to be waiting patiently on to B. He knows there's somebody around here. He knows what's up. As Diogo is going to be making the jump down, he's going to be trying to draw first blood. Not going to be able to do so. Chumbo is going to be back up. And if Chumbo is smart, yeah, they, just they, wait. they got the flags back, but uh, I think Entropy needs to do something aggressively again. I mean, if they they let him, if they let him, they are going to take all the flags back. I just have that feeling. I don't know why. Well, right now, Panic Reaction is just fighting for their last flag. So I think Entropy is doing just about everything right. We will be seeing Alpha getting controlled by them. Looks like they will be able to take that. Diabetes, though, goes down in defense of Bravo Flag. Picture's going to be back up. Doesn't spot out two of the players into the, uh, the actual stairwell. Goes down. That's huge. As uh, it's starting to go back towards the favor of Panic Reaction. Kuba is going to be back up. He's going to try and find some cover. Going to be able to take out Chumbo. Spots out two of them across the way. And that is going to be it. Diago cleans it up. And now Bravo Flag will be going into their favor. So while it was looking really good there for Entropy, uh, now it's going to be going back into the favor of Panic Reaction. Sir Knight going to be driving into that Bravo building. I uh, don't really know what the purpose of that is. But uh, Peter going to be coming in. And, oh my god. Are we going to be seeing a mass wipe here? from this tank he's got to be very careful as uh, we have one two three four five he's players getting spawned up for entropy on this one tank and uh this is going to be spell it for yeah he's going to get taken down and now alpha flag is going to be really left wide open panic reaction doesn't want to take any risk and it's going for the third flag now they absolutely need to, uh, to be honest with you. But, uh, you know, they're going to be losing this Alpha Flag here in just a second. So I think it's smart going over there uh, for that Charlie Flag. But look at this. Oh, my God. Blind trying to go huge here. He's going to be able to spot out one. Gets two. But that's not going to be enough. Ends up getting taken down, unfortunately. Now we will be seeing Charlie getting capped over here. for Panic Reaction. This is getting tight here. Sundance uh, going to get taken down. Can Sir Knight take out that chopper with the small? Cannot. And now C is firmly into their control. And once again, that burn 
going to be going back into Panic Reaction's favor. You think Panic Reaction could do this 20 to 100? You think they can 2-0 Entropy right now? I, I think they can. I think they can, but it's going to be so hard. I, and I can see Entropy going crazy right now. They're using all the trucks they have. They want to move fast. And uh, that could be wrong, uh, bad for them if they start to overexcite over Charlie. Well, right now we do see Diabetes having a little bit of trouble getting up and over that fence. Had a little bit too much uh, cheeseburgers there from McDonald's, but uh, it's okay. Finally going to be able to get his legs up and over there. Uh, 16 to 79. We do see some spawns coming in here for uh, Panic Reaction, and they do have to be careful. I would like to see more uh, res kits coming out for Panic Reaction. 14 tickets left to go. 76 here for uh, for Entropy. Do you think that uh, this is going to be a tight one, I think? And now, if you they... have a massive side rage coming in, Harmon, with a couple of pickups there, C-Flag will be staying into their possession. I know the uh, Entropy tank is coming, but he's all alone. I'm not sure he's going to do anything. Well, he's going to be able to get a couple of now. kills. Yeah, he's going to be able to get a couple of kills here. And honestly, at this point, Havoc, I think that they just need to start wheeling down this Panic Reaction team. They're not spawning in as Assaults. They're starting to spawn in as NGs, uh, which means that they obviously can't res. So just kill them. Just straight up kill them. We will be seeing Herman getting taken down. Uh, and now Alpha and Charlie will be flashing. Looks like Charlie Flag going to get burned down here fairly quickly. We do have a uh, spawn coming in here. Kuba going to try and hold on. We do have one more player. Diago, who's going to be trying to make it two-piece, does. That's going to be a double kill. Can he stay alive here as a Diabetes is right on the other side of that wall? Might be going in for a back rage. Spots out a third. We'll be able to take him down. Diago going huge for his team. Look at that kill feed. It is nothing but PR. And look at that 30 and 9 going beast. He is definitely going to beat his 25 kills, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. 40 tickets left to go. Charlie Flag now getting capped here for Entropy in the burn. We'll be going into the favor, and I think this is going to be it as we do not see anybody over there onto Alpha Flag, and I think they just closed this out. So nice job there for Entropy coming back. But you know what? Honestly, with them having this much trouble on that side of the map, how can they... How can they make uh, make the round number three? How can they win that? Because if I'm not mistaken, it's whoever has the most amount of tickets gets the side choice, right? Yeah, that's correct. And that was the Panic Reaction. That is right. So I would imagine that we're going to be seeing Panic Reaction flipping the spawns once again. Would, you, would, we, would we not? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. I think they are, yeah, they should speak Chinese. Yeah, they are picking the first round. So side. you think that they're going to be able to take Chinese. So I don't know. It's, it's going to be an interesting one here. I think the fact that uh, that we saw a lot more infantry play coming out on the gimme flags from uh, Entropy was a huge deal. I think that they should stick with that tactic as it worked very well for them. Leave Bravo alone, or at the very least, take down that Bravo flag. You know, one player with C4 and some ammo boxes can take down Bravo, no problem. So I would I would imagine that we need to be seeing something like that coming into play um, from Entropy, in my opinion. I think that yeah, would be but the best. If you kill, if you destroy the building, you might have a too wide open space, you know, and perhaps that could be good for Panic Reaction, actually. Well... To a point, I do agree with you there, Havoc, but let's look at it this way. With it being wide open, which means that there's going to be multiple points of attack, there's also going to be multiple places for them to hide. That doesn't mean that the helicopter is going to be able to control that completely. Plus, we do have the possibility of the attack boat spawning there. I think it does. Um, actually, it may not on small, but uh, anyways, even without the attack boat, I think that it would still be conducive for them to actually do that. Now we are going to be seeing, uh, I believe, Panic Reaction on the Chinese side. Am I uh, right here? No, I'm not. I'm going to have to swap these players back over. And I believe we are going to be live. Yes, we are live. So here we go. Once again, let's check out the choppers. Going to be coming up top on the buildings. And I think we're going to be seeing some drops coming in here for uh, Panic Reaction and Entropy. And there we go. We are going to be seeing one, two players here for uh, Panic Reaction. Whoa, but Kuba gets the hit. Very fast. And that's going to be huge here, Ta uh, Havoc. 
Yeah, but again, again, the same problem that the Entropy had in the first round. They destroyed the other helicopter so fast, but uh, are they going to get this flag? I mean, it's again on power of PR. Well, I don't know. We are going to be seeing uh, uh, Alpha and Bravo both going into their favor. Nobody has capped out Alpha just yet, as uh, we will be seeing uh, Panic Reaction doing a great job here onto Beast, just holding it on. And uh, Blind was doing all he could, trying to stay alive, will not be able to do so. Chumbo going to be pushing back up, has a chance for a backrange. Wow, sees three of them, and uh, will not be able to make anything off of that play. And uh, I like this placement here from... Uh, from Entropy as they are going to be able to get, uh, or I'm sorry, um, yeah, Entropy, as they are going to be able to stay alive by using uh, this cover, basically holding on to about half of their bodies. And now Bigster will be able to pick up one more. It's 277, 291 right out the gate as they're looking really strong. And Bigster just adding to it right now. Let's take a look. Four and one as he's beasting it in the same spot. We'll be able to take him down. So nice job there, and Bravo going to be going back into their favor. So, uh, yeah, we're seeing some really good plays coming in here for uh, for Entropy. They're, they're definitely wanting to uh, take back this uh, this third and final round. Yeah, they're actually playing quite solid right now, and PR is struggling to get some spawn bombs over Bravo. But at the same time, they're having people, oh, look at that, look at that, Brad. We have four people in Alpha. Also, the, the tank is still alive. Yes, it is. We do have uh, Panic Reaction actually sitting back behind the tank. And there's some C4. Goodbye, tank. We do have some T-kills coming in, but they did end up uh, doing the damage that they wanted to. And Alpha will be going into their possession. So uh, we're actually seeing a flip of strategies as uh, Panic Reaction going to be taking the two gimme flags. Uh, pretty much right off the start, and we're going to be seeing Bravo sticking into the favor over here of uh, Entropy. So, uh, nice push there. Uh, what do you think of this havoc? Do you think uh, do you think that Panic Reaction is just doing a really good job of changing strats to uh, to what they're given? Yeah, I think they're trying to win in the in Entropy's game. You know, they realize okay, they are very good on infantry. They are very good on the gimme flags. Let's go good on that. And if we can do that good, then our superiority won't be a problem there. But yeah. Captain Kuba did rape shoot Gi, uh, rape Gi at the beginning, so I'm not really sure what's going to happen. Perhaps now we will see some air superiority from Entropy. And now we are going to be seeing Entropy uh, getting the uh, the chopper. So they have now done a uh, chopper steal of their own. So we might be seeing a round number one in favor of, uh, of Entropy. So that they're looking really, really good. Merc now going to be up in the chopper. It's going to be uh, just uh, flying around, just chillaxing a little bit. Could go for that three cap, not going to be able to do so though. Uh, Blind's going to be back up, sitting over here onto Bravo Flag, getting that down just very, very, very fast. Uh, but uh, I'd like to see some chopper help coming out here. Uh, Merc taking his time uh, to really do anything. Going to be able to dodge a rocket, able to pick up Peter. And there we go, we had a scavenger now coming in. I think that the, they don't want to use that skull helicopter. They're saving it because it's the stolen one, and as soon as they get Bravo, he will probably defend Bravo while the other helicopter attacks the, the gimme flag. Yeah, absolutely. So right now we do see uh, Kuba playing very, very passive. Uh, Tank really doesn't have any place to go. Uh, he's he's going to be trying to provide some uh, air support, but I mean, really, what can you do from that position? You have to kind of you know hang back a little bit when you're at a uh, two flag disadvantage. Now Diago gets taken down. Uh, we do have uh, Gooey though. He's going to be back up without his helicopter. He's going to have to make something happen here. Him and uh, doesn't have time to pull out that stinger. Needs to back up. Will be getting cleared out. So uh, we are just seeing lots and lots of uh, death and destruction happening over here onto that Bravo flag. Can he make it happen? Happen. He does it all oh, blind. I was wanting you to get that small so bad, but unfortunately, will not be able to get it. Can he make it on the second one? He does not. As we do have the uh, the chopper going to be flying out there. And let's look at Merc as he gets down. Nice job. Kuda with a big pickup of his own. He's going to be able to take out several of those players. And uh, Havoc, how critical was it of them to take down that chopper? And it was very critical. I mean, I think now PR needs to go back to their original game and go for the air superiority and stop Kuba, man. They have to stop Kuba now. He's doing shoes. Oh! And they did just that as he gets All taken right. down. 
So nice job there, and look at that kill feed. It is PR all day long. Let's look at that. Oh my god, two players are only up here for, for entropy. <laughs> Wow. They didn't see them. They didn't see wow. them. They just abandoned Bravo. Yeah, but a massive spawn coming in here for uh, for Entropy. I almost said VR there as uh, I'm looking at Big Stuff. Uh, he will be getting back up onto this Bravo point. 169, 215, still in favor of, of uh, uh, Panic Reaction. And uh, why do you think that is? I mean, honestly, they had the two flag bleed against them for quite a while. Uh, do you think that just, just fragging power is just on another level? I'm also surprised. I I, th I thought that uh, the uh, entropy was winning, but no, I see PR. I I didn't realize that. Yeah, they are, and they're also going to be making a play over here for Alpha Flag. Uh, As I said before, the shoes love to be aggressive. You know, they don't want to stay defending. If you check Charlie, there's no one there. There's no one there defending their gimmick. Yeah, and that actually might be a bad thing. We do have uh, Kuba going to be setting up for this uh, this chopper cap here. And there it is. They will be able to steal that chopper once again. Did they steal that chopper? Uh, not really sure what's going on there. It looks like Kuba had a fail attempt on that chopper. Unfortunately, will not be able to get it. Nudry is going to be back up, though. On to this Bravo flag. Yeah, they got it back, and they, they are uh, trying to take back Alpha, but... The tank is also playing always on the same position. No, it's starting to move, but perhaps that makes him too predictable at this point, you know? Perhaps he needs to change his game a bit. Yeah, Diago going to be down below trying to get in those elevators to come back up. Harp's going to be back up as well on Bravo. Alpha is going to be flashing. Let's take a look over here onto A. Oh, we have a tank fight possibly. No, still, it should be putting their tank down on that alpha burn. Do you think that's wise right now? I mean, the, the engineer's going down. Uh, he's just getting picked up uh, over and over. He has two NGs. That's three people that's dedicated to this one flag, and they can't even move really outside of this one little spot. Uh, what do you think of this move here? I mean, do you really think this is wise? I think, actually, I think that that's a bad spot for the tank, because you can get shot from the top, which is actually what's happening now. Uh, Dwayne is shooting the tank, and he's not getting shot back as the other tanks, just can't see him. Yeah, and right now he's at 58 health, 35 health, he might go down here. He does have a rep that spawns in at the last second, but now four players are going to have to spawn over here onto this Alpha Flag. They are losing B. C4 is going to be coming in, not going to be able to take them down, but if that tank can get a shot in, uh, is he back up? He has to back up. Oh my god, if Dwayne can get a shot in on the C4, this should be able to blow him up. Here it comes. Will he be able to do it? He's able to get one shot off. Can't quite get the angle on it, and it doesn't look like he's going to be able to. He's trying to, uh, but he sees that tank in there. Has to back up once again. Be careful of those side rages going to be coming in. We do have the helicopter back up for Panic Reaction. Bravo flag, though, fa shaping up to be a really nice fight here. We do see the uh, the OP sniper rifle being used, and uh, does not look like he's going to be able to do much action with that. Peter is going to be uh, back up. B flag going to be going into their favor. Only one player left. Going to be Merc to try and make a stop on this B flag. We do have Diabetes going in here for Charlie Flag, uh, but it looks like uh, maybe? No, the tank has to back back up. I thought maybe Dwayne got taken down. No, Dwayne is coming back. As I said before, they were not defending Charlie, and now that Entropy knows, they might start going back for their gimme play that we saw on the round two. Massive gimme play. Look at that. Four, five players are going to be back here, and this is not looking good for them. The tank has to pull back, but it's it's not really a favorable fight here for this tank, because these infantry have quite a bit of places where they can just kind of run around and hide. Uh, so yeah, not looking to do good. Hemmen though, going to try and uh, make something happen. He gets taken down. Three players going to be back up. We do have a two-man push still over here onto that alpha flag. I think they should just give up on this A push and just focus solely on this Charlie flag to try and get it back. Harp's going to be able to spot out one. We'll be able to take out Gooey, so nice job there. Let's take a look over here at Notri as he's going to be top fragging uh, for his team. Actually, Kuda is. But you know what, Kuba? You're a chopper pilot, so you don't really count in my book. I'm just kidding. As uh, Notri is going to be back up. He's going to be spotting out that tank, but he's an assault player, so not really going to be able to do much to help his teammates there, except for stay on this burn. And uh, 100 to 133, we are seeing a very close game here, Havoc. Uh, do you want to make a prediction? Do you think that we're going to be seeing Entropy taking this? 
I think they have adapted their strategy very, very well. I mean, I think Entropy, yeah, they have very good chances. They have very good chances. I, I'd say 60 to 40. 60 to 40. So he's even throwing out percentages there, guys. So that's pretty impressive. <laughs> but we do have uh, we do have the Charlie flag going into the favor. We have some massive spawns coming in onto that C flag. Diabetes is going to be coming in with that RPG. Spots out the tank. We'll be able to get a mobility hit. That's actually really huge right there to get that mobility hit. Harp with those slams. He's going to be making the play of the day. Here we go. Tank's going to go down. No, it doesn't. Wait a minute. Are those slams not on a yeah. timer? Oh my god. Wow, that is the I luckiest tank. I think they didn't see the slams. The I have ever is seen in my life. Blow up. Luckiest tank ever. Uh, looks like C Flag will be staying into the possession here of uh, Panic Reaction. There you go. As they two flag bleed, we'll be going back in their favor. 79 113. It's looking really, really good right now. I don't think that tank wants to move. As uh, I don't know if he does. Does it, do the slams go off? Yep, yeah, they do. Yeah. And there goes the tank. He's going to have to. to uh, uh, help rep that back up. I was wondering when that was going to happen. Very smart play, though, actually, on his part. We do have uh, Kubo going to be sitting back here waiting for that chopper spawn. He's going to try and get uh, something going on. They, they, they need to get something going on. 62 tickets left to go. This is not out of the realm of possibility for them to come back and win this here, guys. They do have a chance. We do have Notre going to be on the ground waiting. Uh, he's going to be trying to get back up in those heli or helicopters. Yeah, he's going to try and ride the helicopters up to B. Wow. Elevators up to Bravo Flag. Harp is going to be back up on this chopper. Here we go. We might be seeing a drop coming in. And uh, yeah, that's exactly what they're going to be going for. But takes a rocket for their troubles. We do have uh, two players going to be jumping back in onto this Bravo Flag up top. So you know what? I'm noting that the scoreboards are very different in this round. Let's just take a look. BR, I mean, Entropy is very, it's doing very differently than, than the last rounds and Yolo is is just not doing the same you know Peter is the hero yeah 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 you, know, you know Diago you're absolutely right he is not beasting it up like we saw before uh, he's actually having quite a bit of trouble and let's see if he can make some magic happen here he has a chance to shoot the pilot out of the chopper will not be able to make that happen goes in for that res uh, spots out at least one maybe two over on the other side of Bravo flag B will be getting touched now, but look at this Gooey coming in here, going to try and make the save. Uh, he got shot out? No, he's switching uh, positions, trying to uh, save that helicopter. Will not be able to do so, as uh, Kuba just too strong. Will not be able to take him down. 23-6, and six. he's beasting it right now for his teammates. Peter, though, going to be back up, sitting up on top of Brock. That's uh, burn for his teammates here. 36-75, uh, possible trip cap coming in here for um, Entropy, though. So they could, at the last second, snatch this away from Panic Reaction. This is by no means over here, guys, as uh, we do see Gooey back up without his chopper. He gets taken down, so not going to be able to stay alive. Shot's going to be back up down below, but it's not going to be enough. Bigster there just waiting for him using that ACR. Should be able to get the res as well. And this is, this is, this is huge. This is huge, Havoc. Oh, no, we did have shots end up getting rezzed and saved by his teammates. But look at this, though. We're seeing all three flags getting grayed out. B flag going to be getting heavily contested. Harp's going to try and make the stop. We also have the tank pushing up. Very aggressive here for Panic Reaction. Well, actually, this is quite a close match right now. Because the <laughs> yeah. only Alpha is flashing right now. But uh, Entropy still has the two flags. So the uh, bleed continues on Panic Reaction. Oh, 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 are we going to be seeing some C4 action coming in from behind? No! Get some spawns there at the last second. That tank is so low on health. Another rocket going to be coming in. He needs to get some reps. He needs to get some help. We have two players on this one tank in Alpha Flag right now. And look at that. Notre going to be spawning back up, but he's as an assault player. Can't do anything to that tank. That was a blunder on his part. We do have another run coming in, and that was going to be it. Tank goes down onto Alpha Flag. It looks like uh, Entropy going to be able to uh, take this. They take the lead. Oh, my God. Havoc. Are they going to be able to do this? Bravo Flag now going to get burned down. It's all up to Kuba. He has to get these kills on B. He has to stop this burn, and it looks like he will be able to do so. There's the only one player going to be left back up. He's just circling around. Look at that fish in a barrel as uh, they are all dying. Three tickets, two tickets left. Guys, you have just saw a comeback from the U.S. team. 
Entropy, nice job, as they will be able to take the first match of the season. Havoc, did you expect that to happen? I, I told you so, 60-40. What, 60 <laughs> I told you, 60-40, yeah. That, that wasn't telling me, that was just predicting that they might win there by a, uh, a slim margin. So nice job, there's Panic Reaction. Looking so strong at the beginning, goes down. Like, I, I did not see that coming. I thought for sure, especially with the way Panic Reaction played at the end of the second round, because they were looking so strong. I mean, I mean, you got to admit, they were looking very strong. They were coming back, almost took that round, in fact, uh, but were not able to. And then coming into this one, although, you know, you got to give props over here to Kuba. 28 and 7, beasting it up in that chopper. And they just flipped the game plan there on uh, Panic Reaction as they pretty much took the uh, the strategy that they had in round number one from Panic Reaction, flipped it on them, stole the chopper, kept the air out of there, and they were just too good. I mean, that that was just a beautiful match going back and forth. Um, what, what do you think Panic Reaction could have done differently to try and save that? Well, I think that the problem here was that Panic Reaction was still playing at their level, which was very, very good. But Entropy in the first round was weak, probably didn't have enough training on Siege of Shanghai. Then in the second round, they proved, okay, we're not so bad, guys. And they did a great round, they won it. And I think in the third round, they should say, you, you know, in each round we were evolving, and you guys were not. So in the end, we became stronger. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, props there to Entropy taking that. That's going to be a huge boost for them as uh, we do have a U.S. team. Going to be able to take the first round or first match. Always good to see that, uh, as you don't very often. And, uh, yeah, kudos to them. So, guys, we appreciate you showing up and watching. I hope you enjoyed that match as it was a very close one. Came down to a round number three. Close tickets there at the end. If you do want to watch the first of this and you did miss it, you can go check that out on my YouTube channel later, uh, probably tomorrow, youtube.com slash AaronTVH1. If you liked what you saw you want to see more, I will be here every Thursday, every Thursday at 10.30 p.m. Eastern. You can go check this out. Hit that follow button on that stream. I definitely appreciate that. Uh, if you also want to follow me on Twitter, at BrettFX, I will stream or tweet out every single time I go live. I also cast the ESL Go For series on Sundays, 9 a.m. Eastern, if you want to check that out as well. It's going to be some uh, awesome action. If you want to see some of the best of the best play, Fnatic, Dignitas, MYM, Epsilon, really good teams top of the top for 5v5 action and uh, of course you can't forget that WEL has 5v5s of their own that's going to be happening every Sunday and we actually have three Portuguese casters am I correct there it's Portuguese right yeah they're Portuguese uh, well actually Brazilian Brazilian sorry they speak Portuguese my bad my bad <laughs> but uh, uh, anyways we'll see I'm an English caster and so, I mean, you know, I, I'm well, going yeah. by language. I'm going by language. Anyways, so if you guys do want to check that out, you can absolutely do so. Go to the War Access uh, website, www.warexcess.com. You can go check out their links in the sidebar. So it's on the side, either this side or that side or both sides. It's on a side. You go over there, you click on them, go follow their channels as well. They'll be going live on Sundays for their cast. So awesome stuff there. And Havoc, where can they find you at? Well, they can find me on YouTube and WXS Havoc, and you can find me on Facebook too by just typing Haro87. And well, I'd like to to invite everyone to join our Scout Recapture tournament. It's going to close the signups on the 30th of this month, and we're also having an insurgency tournament, which is also closing the signups on this uh, 29th. That is absolutely right. And I'm actually going to be casting, hopefully, both of those. Uh, I will be casting the Chopper event with Who. You may know him as Level Who or uh, Yarnas Who, as he is going to be joining up with them. So awesome stuff there. We will be casting that. I believe it's going to be held on, is it Thursdays? It is on Thursdays, but it's before the 10v10 event. Am I right? Exactly. I'm right. I'm right. I'm, I'm always right. Why do I even ask these things? So anyways, guys, we do appreciate for coming out and uh, watching. Uh, real quick, uh, Havoc, if you, want to, uh, if you want to promote anything, 
else and uh, any other language, you are more than welcome to do so. And right after that, guys, we're going to be cutting to some music and uh, heading out. Bueno, también quisiera agradecer a todos los que nos están mirando, que son de habla hispana, que yo sé que no tenemos casteos en español. Y igualmente, digamos, el nivel de Brett es increíble cómo castea y por más que no esté en nuestro idioma, creo que es de lo mejor que podemos tener hoy. Y la verdad que espero que sigan formando equipos nacionales en Argentina y que sigan promoviendo el eSport y no sé qué.